every day this week, we're showcasing a different local restaurant as part of our Hidden Gem series. And this morning, we're on the North Shore. Jennifer Duncan and Chef Brett Marks are here to tell us about Calypso Patio Bar and Grill in Covington. And thank you all for joining us this morning. Thanks for having we'll us. We'll rush to get over the bridge. Yeah, uh, that's all right. <laughs> and getting over the bridge shouldn't be a problem heading to Covington. Tell us a little bit about the restaurant. Well, actually, we have quite a beautiful place. I'm glad you all are considering us a little hidden gem. Um, we have a... Huge patio, large bar, mahogany wood. It's absolutely a beautiful place. You feel like you're at home. It's um, it's casual, but it and, you know we still have some nice stuff too. We're doing one of our featured summer recipes today called a campechana. A campechana. Yes. I had trouble. I saw it on the. Um, script here, and I had no idea how to pronounce it. A lot of people don't. A lot of people okay. still ask us every day, what is this? It's on our menu. And it's kind of like a spicy shrimp cocktail, but a little bit different. It's got a flair to it. It's it's really fun. So what type of food do you guys serve at the restaurant? We're doing a little bit of a few things. Um, we, we tend to call it American Contemporary. We're doing a little bit of Nuevo Latino cuisine. We also do a little bit of New Orleans stuff, too, and just some traditional classic things that you can find. So, you I mean, even if someone's not maybe a fan of a certain type of food, you, it sounds like you have a little bit yes, of everything. There, there's a little bit of everything for somebody, absolutely. All right, now, Chef, tell us a little bit about the dish you're going to be making. This is on the menu regularly? Yes, sir. Um, it's a cabochana, like she said. It's kind of like a shrimp bromelade, or shrimp cocktail, I'm sorry. Um, but it's got few different assortment of peppers, like uh, we got a, a roasted banana pepper, uh, serranos, so, but it's got a nice little kick to it. Is a serrano pepper a spicier, hotter pepper? Yeah. Because I know a banana pepper isn't particularly hot, but a serrano is. It's, it, it'll get you. So I'm not going to go fight <laughs> into that one. Okay. Well, tell us what you did to, you know, kind of mix it all together. It looks like it's a lot of ingredients. Oh, yeah. Um, so I have some lime juice. Uh, we got onion, olive. Uh, yeah, you can pour that add, in. Add it into there, yeah. Some uh, lime, lime juice. juice. We, we cut up some onion. We also cut up a few um, tomatoes. We also do a little bit of cucumber as well for a little bit of a lighter flavor. Um, the onions add a little, little bit of saltiness, too. Um, we also use other fun ingredients like the Clamato or any type of uh, clam juice-based uh, cocktail. Um, Let's see. The serrano, like we said, does add a little bit of spice, but the we add chunks of cucumber too. I mean, um, avocado, which helps cool it down. Oh, okay. So, so that's really, really nice. And we'll do um, we do a little bit of crab meat on top of the dish, and we'll Ooh. also do oh yeah. So we got a little see, bit more and I see shrimp. shrimp. What, what's, what's up with that? Well, the shrimp that's kind of for decoration too. We hang it on the side of our little mart martini glass. Oh, okay, but it'll be eaten. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yes. Absolutely. So tell me just decoration. No, not just decoration and. Now, is anything cooked down or sautéed or anything, or is it, is it really all raw? It's, it's all raw. We char the banana peppers. Uh -huh. We also char a little bit of corn, too. You can do it at home over your gas grill if you have one, the gas range. And, really? Um, yeah, it gives you put that on the barbecue flavor. pit, or I mean, Absolutely. is that basically what you're doing? Exactly, and those are the only two things we do. You can even char the tomatoes if you want to, too, to add a different, um, different flavor there. But this is how we serve it at the restaurant. We put it in a martini glass. Now, is this served as an appetizer or entree? It, it, is, it is an appetizer. Uh, sometimes, if I'm not too hungry, I eat it as an entree. But, um, you know, looking for something a little bit light. And then we take, um, here, Chef Brett, would you like to put some crab meat on top for us? And I just eat the crab meat? Is that absolutely. If you want to, go for it. <laughs> I'll let you top it off first. All right. And here we go with the shrimp, too. And it's just really, really, really pretty. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice size to wine. And that's exactly how we serve it at the restaurant. A little bit of corn oh, in there, okay. too. So you didn't mix the corn in there. It was it's right, the, of, the, the as corn, a garnish, I guess. Yes, the corn sense. is at the end because you don't want it to get too mushy in right. there. But, yes, the corn and the avocado, actually, are what goes at the end for a little bit of garnish and a little bit of that cooling flavor, too, to go with the spice. Well, we have this recipe on our website, fox8live.com. Just click on the lanyap section. And where in Covington are you guys located? We're in downtown Covington on oh. Lee Lane. Oh, okay. So we're right next to the Tammany Trace. So if you're bike riding, you can find us pretty easily. You have a bike ride so you can ride up? And... We have a fence that you can stay Oh, I that's perfect. That's even better. <laughs> we're going to get a bike rack soon. <laughs> that's even better. Our fence is even better. <laughs> yes, Thank indeed. you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. So in Covington. And okay, I'm going to try some. Yeah, this is this think. is a lot to try and get on a chip. It's about 15, 16 Let me just different eat ingredients. This. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try it. <laughs> mm. Good stuff? <laughs> Very good stuff. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thanks, sir.